what's up guys, Stackshot a here, and uh, normally I do not make videos about Disney announcements, I never have my channel, but this one was just too major to not, and it is D23 Expo. Yep, a lot of new stuff just announced this weekend, I was, I don't feel it's late, I don't really care though, I've been feeling lazy the last few days, but I'm, I'm back on track now, so. Yep, the first thing is, um, a couple of new stuff, Hollywood Studios. Now, most of us probably know, most of you probably know Fallout anyway. Hollywood Studios does not have much open right now, for the thrill seekers anyway, because a lot, many, many stuff is closed for Star Wars construction and even a bit of Toy Story construction, so. Yeah, and the first big announcement is Great Movie Ride will be closing August 13th. And, um, I knew this was coming. Disney's contract with most of the movies was ending, I think, early next year, so I, knew, I, I totally called it, totally knew it was coming. And honestly, it was a little bit outdated, so, um, I mean, it has run. I'm not really sad to see it go. But we already found out what's placing it. It's gonna be a Mickey's Runaway Railway. It's like a 2D D kind of ride, not a 3D kind of ride, but a 2D D kind of ride. That's interesting, actually. And if it's like, Theme of classic Mickey Mouse, that's awesome. Because they don't have any rides themed to that. I mean, one, one man's dream doesn't count. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. Definitely excited to see how, um, they're gonna do it. And, um, I think they're, um, didn't, I think they said they were spending it open by 2020, but I'm not positive. Might be 2021. And, um, official opening date for Toy Story Land will be summer 2018. I mean, my guess is around 4th of July. I don't know. I mean, I know it'll be summer 2018, but I don't know if it'll be 4th of July or in June or, God forbid, August. And we have an official name for Star Wars Land. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Now, I'm not really the biggest Star Wars guy, but... I'm not really the biggest Harry Potter guy either. I did go to Harry Potter Land a few years ago, and I actually quite enjoyed it. And I'm not even a Harry Potter fan, but I still, I still enjoy myself there. It was still, I still thought it was pretty fun. So, yeah, I can always see myself enjoying Star Wars Land as well. That is opening summer 2019. Fun fact: Disneyland is actually opening first. And um, speaking of which, the new Fantasmic, the updated one, after it being closed for over a year. Just opened this weekend. And I didn't actually go to see it. I wasn't there for the 23 and Expo announcement either. But, um... When I saw him... It was kind of impressive with how modern they made it look, I guess you can say. But, um... But at the same time, I did feel that the Pirates of the Caribbean scene was a little bit out of place. I guess you can say it didn't really fit. But, uh... Rest of it was, uh, I was pretty impressed with the rest of it. I'm not complaining, but that one, that, there, there was that one scene I felt was a little out of place. But, well, they did fine with it. Um, and also, Magic Kingdom, the Tron, a new Tron roller coaster is opening. I don't know what type of coaster it's gonna be. It's a clone of the one in Shanghai Disneyland, I believe. Yeah, the clone of that one, it's, I think it's either replacing or going next to the monorail, I'm not sure. And rumors of both, and I know that it was officially announced what's happening with that, I don't remember off the top of my head though. And, uh, now moving into California with the, actually no, we're going Epcot's announcements first. New Garden of the Galaxy ride is opening, I don't remember what year, but um, I'm pretty excited for that. Seeing how much of a, of a success Mission Break I was, seeing how big of a Marvel fan I am, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped up for that. But, I do feel that, I think they should, I do feel that Hollywood Studios would have been a better place for the Garden of the Galaxy ride, personally, because they're more in for like the movie stuff and whatnot, but they got a lot going on right now with Star Wars and Toy Story Land, so, yeah. And that new Mickey ride replacing great, great movie ride. But, um, yeah. I mean, I'm excited for that, but I um, just feel that 
you should have put in Hollow Studios, but I can definitely see why they didn't. And, uh, they're also making a new Ratatouille ride, I think, in the France Pavilion, and, uh, it's gonna be like a 40 ride, that's pretty cool, I'm not really the biggest fan of the movie myself, I will only watch it a few times, it's not really memorable to me, but, um, but I do enjoy the 40 rides like that, so, yeah, that's, that'll be interesting. And, uh, now, some hotels for Disney World. I believe Disneyland Paris as well. A new Star Wars hotel and a Marvel hotel. Actually, I don't know about Disneyland Paris. I believe only Disney World. But, Star Wars-themed hotel. That. Like, I've seen concept art. I'm not sure any of it off this bill, but I was absolutely blown away. I don't know. I don't remember when it's supposed to open. I believe it's 2020, 2019. But, oh my god. That. That looks amazing. And the Marvel Hotel, I actually have not seen any concept art, but I know they're doing it, and that, yeah, that, that, that'll be pretty awesome. Like, a Star Wars, like, a full hotel theme of Star Wars or Marvel. That, like, that, 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 that's just sick. Um, now moving into California's announcements, um, Disneyland's Star Wars Island will be opening first, 2018. And, um, now California Adventure made a much bigger announcement here, um. Marvel Land is coming. I don't know when, but I know for a fact it's coming. It's going to go behind Mission Breakout, which makes a lot of sense. They're making Avengers Roller Coaster. I remember it's going to be like a thrill ride or a family ride. I remember they're supposed to have like some high-tech elements, and so that's... It's going to be pretty impressive when it opens, actually. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it. And supposedly they are making a new Spider-Man attraction as well. Now, I'm not really sure how I feel about that, seeing that... They, um, like, the One at Islands Adventure is really hard to compete. It really is for a Spider-Man themed ride. I mean, maybe they'll make it like a swinging flat ride. I can definitely see that as a possibility. But, um, I mean, I like the idea, but I just, I doubt it'll be as good as Islands of Adventure. 100% doubt it. Um, and then the other half will be like Pixar themed, so they're completely... Not really completely removed, but they're going to retheme Paradise Pier, and... So, like, basically, half the park will be Marvel, half the park will be Pixar. Now, I don't think that's a terrible idea, by any means, but I'm not really the biggest fan of it, because it's supposed to be, like, a California-themed park, and so I feel that like the California theme is being completely scrapped now. I know it's com not, but I feel like that's what they're trying to do. I mean, the closest thing they got to California theming now is Cars Land, which... Because it was set in California, but still. It, yeah, I don't even know what to say. And, uh, I mean, how are they going to retheme California Screaming is my question. I really, yeah, I'm kind of confused about that. And Mickey's Fun Wheel, they're going to change it to, like, I mean, they can't remove Mickey's face from that. That's just so iconic. That's just, uh, yeah, it's an icon. They can't. Actually, I don't think... I mean, like, yeah, I know a lot of people would rather than not, so, yeah. That'd be a little bit of a weird change, but otherwise, eh. Not a terrible idea, but it is kind of ruining the concept of the park. To be, like, all California-themed and whatnot, so. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited for Marvel End, though. I'm definitely curious to see what they're going to do with that Spider-Man ride and the Avengers ride, too, so. Yeah, I'm not complaining, but... So that's pretty much it for my thoughts on D23 Expo. Most of this I'm pretty excited for. There are, you know, a couple of things I would fix, like, when, like within their future with with some stuff. But otherwise, not bad. So, uh, yep. Let me see.